Notice I had the deco playing cards in the right sequence. And uh, for a performance to be accomplished, all you need is, let's take half and half. This is the bottom half. And because this is the bottom half, I'm gonna drop at least like 20 cards, or 15, 10, between 10 and 15, doesn't really matter. Just a little uh, block. And go ahead and do a very sloppy uh, shuffle. Because there are, you know, a lot of gaps. That's gonna be easier to unwave the cards. And the way you are gonna unwave the cards, notice this is the bottom half. And you show the front. Notice that thumb is right here in the middle because I'm gonna do this move. But uh, before you even show the front, all this block that I put actually at the beginning, once again, like 10 to 15 cards, uh, and a nice rhythm, actually. Don't delay too much. I had the thumb. My left thumb and I already spread, okay? I wave them and drop them. Uh, this shuffle don't supposed to look uh, really clean. It's supposed to look sloppy. The thumb is right here. I'm obviously exaggerating. Right before I show the front, I have to spread all this block underneath to this uh, entire deck blocking also the thumb view which by showing the front I'm gonna wait on wave right here in the same rhythm I'm gonna drop the cards okay okay so one more time from the back it is actually quite easy it doesn't require um, a lot of weeks to master this move just notice how this is the bottom half I drop like 10, 20, and everything goes in the same rhythm, okay? Then the thumb is right here. When I unwave them, all these cards, they're already blocking the front view. And the bottom goes back to the bottom. And the cards are actually some sort of cascading, you know, blocking the front and following the right sequence. And by the gestures also is what it sells this move. By doing, you know, now you are trying to fix the deck. Let me do it face up. Uh, this is gonna be the top half, the bottom half. The bottom half always drop 10, 20. And do a very sloppy shuffles. I'm spreading down here at the bottom. The thumb makes things easier. Everything is already on way, but in the front view, you know, it doesn't really appreciate uh, that much. And by doing this gesture, you know, it sells a little bit better, this move. Once again. Also, when you do a lot of false shuffles and false cuts, always use different ones, you know, uh, from the side. Okay, so one last time from the magician's perspective, so you can see. I'm taking the top, the bottom, the bottom, dropping 10, 20 cards. Keep shuffling and make sure it's a little bit messed up. The thumb goes right here. Make sure they're completely facing up the audience, uh, but from the back, not from the face. And right here, all this spread is already covering. So then you see how much separation is. Otherwise, it's gonna be quite obvious. The thumb goes right here. And dropping the cards. 